Hello, this is progression and series lesson 4.4. In this, I will discuss questions on series. In this lesson, I will discuss infinite series based question. So we know that infinite series is like this a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube till infinite terms. But condition is that r must be between minus 1 and 1. Then only we can find the sum of infinite terms and that is equals to we know that this is equals to a upon 1 minus r where r is a common ratio and a is the first term, term number 1 and r is the common ratio cr. First question is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube up to infinity. We need to find the sum of this series. We have given that x is equal to half. Now first of all can we find the sum of infinite terms. This is not a gp because you can see that second term by first term the common ratio is 2x second it by it is 3 by 2x. So it's not in it's not a GP. So we have to convert this kind of series into a GP. How we can convert? We can first of all we have to write this letter sum is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube up to infinity. Let's denote this sum as s. Now this this kind of question has specific method to solve. I am just telling you. You have to write uh, one term behind the entire series. 1 plus 2x plus 3x square up to infinity. In all such question you have to uh, write the series one term behind. Now if you minus now it's very difficult to minus. So what I will do I will multiply this by x. I will multiply this by x. So I, what I will have to do this become x plus 2x square plus 3x cube up to infinity. I am multiplying this uh, second uh, series by x. Now first and third, look at first and third. You can minus first and third term by term. So what you will get from left hand side, you will get s minus sx on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you will get 1 will be as it is 2x minus x term by term, you need to minus 2x minus x will be x. 3x square minus 2x square, it will be x square. 4x cube minus 3x cube, it will be x cube up to infinite terms. Now you can see that and uh, now I am left with gp. If you take x common it will be 1 minus x. Now you can see that this is an infinite gp. This is infinite gp with the first term, term number 1 is 1 and the common ratio is x, common ratio r is x. Now common ratio we know that is x is half so common ratio lies between minus 1 and 1. So we can calculate the sum of this infinite terms and this will be sum of infinite terms this will be a upon 1 minus r we know that where a is the first term as 1 what is the common ratio as x. So this is equals to this. So can I say that s will be equals to 1 upon 1 minus x whole square. This will be equals to put the value of x as half 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square this is 1 by 2 whole square this is 1 upon 1 by 4 this is equals to 4 so our answer is 4 so sum of this series is equals to 4 second question is s is equals to this is not 5 this is s sum of the series is equals to 1 plus 3x plus 6x square plus 10x cube till infinite terms now you can see that this is not a straight gp because if you see the second term by first term the ratio is 3x by 1 second term by third term by second term the ratio is 2x. So this is not a geometric progression. Now what you have to do in all such question we have to write the series one term behind. So this is 1 plus 3x plus 6x square up to infinity. Now if you want to straight away minus it's very difficult. Now what we'll do we'll multiply this by x. So sx will be equals to x plus 3x into x will be 3x square. 6x square into x will be 6x cube up to infinity. Now it's very easy to min minus first and third so s minus sx you will I am doing this minus this s minus sx first will be as it is 1 this 3x minus x is this 3x minus x is 2x this 6x square minus 3x square this is 3x square this 10x cube minus 6x cube this will be 4x cube up to infinity now this becomes the First question 1 minus x this is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube up to infinity. 
this is the first question we solved and we know that is answer was let's say it s1 sum of series 1 this this answer was 1 upon 1 minus x whole square we just calculated in the previous slide that was the first question so here you have to apply it twice this kind of uh, pattern so this will be 1 s upon 1 minus x this is value is 1 minus x whole square I'm straight away putting the value of this series I just calculated in the previous question so sum will be 1 upon 1 minus x whole cube put the value of x as 2 by 3 it was given to you that this is 1 minus 2 by 3 cube this is 1 1 by 3 cube this is 1 upon 1 by 27 so answer is 27 third question is 1 plus 4 by 6 plus 9 by 36 plus 16 by 216 now you should first pause the video try to solve this question yourself I'm just giving you a hint you have to apply the pattern of one step behind twice and then you will be able to calculate answer so I'm solving this question I'm assuming that this is equals to let's say s now can I say that I can assume this is I can write this, this is 1 plus 4 by 6 plus 9 by 6 square plus 16 by 6 cube 6 cube is 216 now what I will do in order to make this question simple I will assume 1 by 6 as x I am taking x as equals to 1 by 6 or I am putting the value of 1 1 by 6 as x so my series will become 1 plus 4x 1 by 6 as x 1 by 6 square will be x square this is 9x square this is 16x cube up to infinity that this my series will become now what I will do I will write one step behind this is 1 plus 4x plus 9x square up to infinity now I'm, I will multiply this with x this will become x plus 4x square plus 9x cube up to infinity now I will first and third I will minus so s into 1 minus x what I will left with 1 plus 4x minus x this is 3x this is 9x square minus 4x square this is 5x square 16x cube minus 9 9x cube this will be 7x cube up to infinity now you can see that this is neither a GP this is not a GP now what I will do I will again apply that method so s into 1 minus x I will write one step behind this is 1 plus 3x plus 5x square up to infinity I am second time applying this, this method now what I will do again you can't straight away minus it's very difficult so I will do I will multiply this by x s1 minus x into x so this will become x plus 3x square plus 5x cube up to infinity now minus this this s into 1 minus x s into 1 minus x into x if you subtract this you will get s into 1 minus x into 1 minus x because s into 1 minus x will get common now common and you will left with s in 1 minus x so this will come so 1 will be as it is this 3x minus x this is 2x this is 5x square minus 3x square this is 2x square 7x cube minus 5x cube this is 2x cube up to infinity now you can see that this is s into 1 minus x whole square this is 1 plus 2 this is x plus x square plus x cube up to infinity now this is a infinite GP because I know that this is a infinite GP this is a infinite GP with common ratio R s x and we know that x is equal to 1 by 6 and R should lie between minus and 1 minus 1 and 1 if you want to calculate sum of infinite term so we can calculate here so this is s into 1 minus x whole square 1 will be as it is plus 2 into what is the sum of infinite terms this equals to first term that is x upon 1 minus r common ratio is also 1 minus common ratio is also x so solving this what you will get you will get 1 plus 2x upon 1 minus x solving this you will get 1 plus x upon 1 minus x now s will be equals to 1 plus x this 1 minus x whole square will come down this will become 1 minus x whole cube put the values of x as 1 by 6 
So this is 1 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 7 by 6. This is 1 minus 1 by 6 cube. This is 5 by 6 cube. This is, will be 125 upon 216. So solving this you will get 7 by 6 into 216 by 125. This is 36. 36 into 7. This is 252. Final answer is 252 upon 125. That will be your final answer. 252 I am just writing here. Answer will be 252 upon 125. Question number 4 is 2 plus 13 plus 28 plus 47 plus 70 up to n terms. We need to find the sum of 20 term. Now this question is very much difficult from all the questions we discussed. Uh, so let's say this is equals to sum s and sum of n terms. I am taking this as n. Now what you have to do? This is, can I say this is 2 plus 13 plus 28 plus plus 47 plus 70 up to n term would be tn tn will be n term what i will do i will write one step behind the series 2 plus 13 plus 28 plus 47 why i am doing this this will be tn minus 1 this will be tn just to make it this series an ap or a gp then only i can calculate the sum no, do, what I will do, I will minus this. This will become 0. Sn minus Sn is 0. So I am left with 2 plus 13 minus 2. This is 11. 28 minus 13. This is 15. 27 minus 47 minus 28. This is 19. 70 minus 47. This is 23. This is Tn minus Tn minus 1. Minus Tn. This is I will left with. Now you can see this is the AP. So why am I did this one term behind in this question just to get a AP or a GP. In this time I am getting a arithmetic progression. Now you can see that minus TN come will here it will become positive. So an at term is equal to 2 plus 11 plus 15 plus 19 plus 23 up to TN minus TN minus 1. This is a arithmetic progression. Now how many terms are there? How many terms we have? You can see that from here to here I am just doing this. Here to here. They are n minus 1 terms. 70 minus 47. Total terms for n. If we not allowing 2 in this series. So total terms will be n minus 1 in this circle. Because if you include 2 then the total number of terms are n. If we exclude 2, the total number of terms are n minus 1. So this total number of terms are n minus 1. Now can we find the sum of these n minus 1 terms? That will give us the n term of this series. Sum of n minus 1 terms. Can I say this is equal to 2? So we know that sum of n terms n in an AP. This is n minus 1 by 2. 2a, 2 into 11 plus n minus 1 minus 1 into d. Because I am calculating the sum of n minus 1 term, not n terms. This is equals like this. So one term will be 2 plus n minus 1 into by 2. 22 plus n minus 2. Where the common difference? This is 4. Common difference is 4. 15 minus 11, 4. 19 minus 15, 4. This is 4. So what you are left with? This is 2 plus n minus 1 by 2. This is 22 plus 4n minus 8. This 2 you can cancel out this is 11 plus 2n minus 4 this you will left with divide by 2 so finally you will get this 2 plus n minus 1 into 2n plus 7 2n plus 7 so finally if you multiply this you will get n at term is equals to 2n square plus 5n minus 5. You solve this, you will get n that term as 2n square plus 5n minus 5. Now you can easily calculate the sum of 20 terms. That was a difficult question. In, in this kind of question, you first need to write one step behind, then you calculate you need to calculate the n at term. So first term would be first term would be 2 into 1 square plus 5 into 1 minus 5. 
and same way 28 term would be 2 into 20 square plus 5 into 20 minus 5 now you need to sum this you will get twice of 1 square plus 2 square up to 20 square plus 5 into 1 plus 2 plus up to 20 minus 5 will come 20 times this is equals to 100 so I know that 1 to 20 square the sum is equals to this is 2870 we calculated in so many questions this is 5 into 1 to 20 this is sum is 210 minus 100 Solving this your final answer will be 6690 6690 will be your final answer so that was all about lesson 4.4 .4 questions on series that was a difficult question in this question first you need to find the nth term by observing the pattern of writing the series as one term behind and then you need to apply the summation formulas thank you